Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese. So I got some plays for you today. Some offensive plays out of the Cardinals playbook. I haven't touched on the Cardinals playbook in so long, probably since like the beginning of Madden 20, maybe like the first month uh, when this you know game first came out. The Cardinals playbook was so brand new. It had so many good trick plays. I put out so many good plays from this. Uh, plays like the gun slot offset are still uh, you know kind of glitchy to me. Um, so really good plays. Like I said, a lot of trickery in the Cardinals. And I really want to dig back into the Cardinals type of playbook because I really think going into Madden 21, I think you're going to see more playbooks like this. The college game is really taking over the NFL. And I'm going to continue that today as I'm going to show you guys some run plays out of the gun split slot. This is a formation I think is probably only in like two, maybe three playbooks in the game. And none of those playbooks have the running set that this particular one does. There's some really good pass plays in here too. And if you guys want to see some pass plays tomorrow out of this, I have some pretty glitchy, pretty unstoppable pass plays that you can create out of this very formation, out of the gun split slot, um, that are very hard to stop. If you want to see that, hit the like button, and I will put that out tomorrow. So I have my audible set already. Uh, I put all four plays that I would typically cycle through uh, in the audible sets. I'll show them to you real quick. Um, you have the inside zone, which is in there, the halfback off tackle, which is essentially, I think it's called a sweep. It's the same one that's in the Patriots. It's really effective. The fullback inside, one of my personal favorites. I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, and the halfback gut is decent. And then the last play, which I didn't actually put in the audibles because I'm going to start off with it, is the shovel option. Now, you want to make sure that when you run a lot of these plays, I mean, you get two running backs. So you want to make sure that your speed back's typically on your right side and your power back's typically on your left side. Uh, but other than that, I mean, you probably also want to make sure you have a, a speedy quarterback running this type of offense. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You really don't have to do too much. So to run this play is pretty simple. I mean, you're basically just running a sweep with the quarterback. You have... Uh, running backs on both sides of you where you basically hit the left bumper to, to pitch it to the running back on the left right bumper to pitch it to the running back on the right now I think that it's best to either hold it with the quarterback or just pitch it to the running back I don't really think there's gonna be a lot of opportunities or pitching it to the running back on your left really makes a ton of sense uh, but you can do that like I said right here I mean there there was there was some daylight as you can see right there I mean it's definitely a huge advantage to make that pitch uh, pretty much every single play. I don't think there's ever going to be a time where I'm going to hold it with the quarterback, but you can see right there, like holding it as long as possible sometimes to suck in the uh, the tacklers is a good idea. So right here, we have a stacked box. I'm pretty sure just based off of that pre-snap read that I'm going to hold that ball and pitch it out as quick as possible. This is why I said you want to make sure you have your speed back on the outside because you're going to get the biggest plays pitching it to this particular running back. I also said that's why you want to have your power back on the other side because a lot of times he's going to be taking big hits. So that's why you want the power back there so he doesn't fumble. To me, pitching to the running back on the right is more than just making a bigger play. It's also a safer play. As you can see right there, I mean, they were all over that. But if I pitch to the left, there's times I've run this in game where I'll bounce it off a lineman's uh, back or, you know, a defensive player will just get in the way and you're pitching it into that danger where you might fumble. So that's a really solid play. Um, like I said, I mean, this is this whole formation is about trickery anyway. It, it's the idea that you can really go to either side of the field uh, with a play like this. And that really lends itself to the adjustments as well. You have inside runs like the gut and the inside zone. They're both decent. But to me, the fullback inside and the halfback off tackle should be used in conjunction with this first play um, exclusively. Those are the three plays that I'm going to run the most. And it's because they can go in multiple directions the same way. This one here, the fullback inside, it's essentially, uh, you know, this play here is obviously a sweep. You're running off tackle. This play right here can definitely be one of the more explosive ones in the series. As you can see right here on the very first play, I take, I'm probably going to take it to the house unless this guy catches me. Uh, but you can see, this is a very effective run. I mean, it's it's the blocking it's usually sets up pretty darn good. So to me, this is definitely the best play as far as uh, a traditional Additional run uh, but the fullback inside to me is, is definitely the best inside run and a lot of times you'll find yourself taking it outside just like I did on that other play as you can see I'm basically house calling on both sides although I don't know how that safety caught up but you can see explosive plays all over the field and that's why I like this formation because like I said you can run your traditional play this is more of like a bread and butter as you can see right here I keep it just get right past uh, the defensive lineman I mean this is just explosive all over the field keeping with the quarterback running it running a triple option a shovel option as far as the reads go, I mean, the blocking sets up so well, I don't think you necessarily have to make too many reads. You can see here once again, I mean, we're just right on that blocker's 
uh, which is not a fullback. It's just a regular running back. We're just right on his butt. I almost get another touchdown, as you can see. I mean, this is just explosive left or right. As far as reads go and which play to run, I mean, you're just looking for gaps and spacing. Uh, here, they're really tight together. So I would say when, when they're pinched in tight like this, and there's no real gaps inside. This is a perfect opportunity to run the shovel. And this is something, like I said, right here. They're pinched in so much. I, I really wanted to pitch that, but <laughs> I thought that I would turn up a little bit. But you can see, like I said, if they're pinched in tight like that, that's the perfect opportunity. Here's a perfect opportunity to run the, the fullback inside. Because if you look closely on the left side there, that defensive end is just almost out of the picture. So it's going to be easy for this fullback to blow that guy out as you can see right here he does and i'm going to take another really big carry so you're really just looking for spacing and gaps on the line as we get i'm going to call it a touchdown because i probably should have ran outside i would have got a touchdown easily so we're going to go we're going to end the video there uh, like i said if you guys want to see the pass plays that go along with this formation tomorrow on sunday hit that like button let me know in the comment section if you want me to touch on more split close uh, please let me know if there's another formation another book you want me to work on let me know uh, and that's it other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below